Hey, what is going on guys? MFK Clicks here and welcome back. So what I've got for you guys today is my first ever Bloodborne video. I'm gonna be changing content up on my channel just a little bit. Been playing this game over the weekend and I've really started to enjoy it. But anyways, what I've got for you guys today is a really awesome glitch you can do right at the beginning of the game. You skip quite a few areas and at the same time you're gonna be able to get an unlimited amount of Blood Echoes. For those of you that are new to Bloodborne, Blood Echoes are in-game currency that you use to level up your character change your stats buy weapons buy items anything you need in this game you're gonna need blood echoes for so incredibly useful but I also recommend playing and beating the game the legit way as doing this will take the challenge out of the game but anyways what you guys want to do is make your way to the second lamppost which is in central Yarnum follow the path I take and then come down here and kill this big guy as you guys can see there's a coffin laying here on the ground what you guys want to do is sprint at this coffin and just as you're about to step up onto it double tap the jump button and if done properly as you step up onto the coffin it's going to cause your character to jump and push you up onto the barrier of the wall I'm going to slow this down for you guys so you can see what I mean it's very very precise with timing might take you a couple tries to get it but once you are up here, you just want to make your way down the wall, careful not to fall off to the carriage at the very end. There's going to be a sack of bags right there. Just want to go ahead and run past them, get into the corner. Once again, I'm going to slow this part down so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But you want to do the same exact thing you did with the coffin. Start sprinting forward. You're going to hit the stack of bags right there, and it's going to push you up just a little bit. At that point, you want to hit the jump button twice, and if done properly, you will jump over the fence to the side right next to this building. You then want to make your way to the end and just drop down into that area. I suggest opening up the gate as it's going to make farming the unlimited echoes a lot more efficient, especially if you guys want to do this after you leave the game and come back. But anyways, once you guys are down this area, just go ahead, follow the path I take, go down both of these ladders. If you are a lower level doing this right at the start of the game, be very, very careful. You're going to die rather easy here. But what you want to do, follow the path I take. You're going to come up, up on some dogs and some cages. You just want to go ahead and kill all four of them in total. Once you've done that, start backtracking. Make your way back to the ladders. Once you have made your way back to the ladders, this is the easiest part of the glitch. Just follow the path I take back up into the clinic. Once you are up inside the clinic, you're literally going to run circles around this table. Every time you do a lap around the table, you're going to get 2,084 echoes. I don't know what causes this. Just killing the dogs in this area and then coming back here causes you to get echoes every three seconds. Really, really efficient. You guys can max out your echoes really, really quickly. I do believe it took me like 25 minutes to get a total of a million. But anyways, guys, that's really all there is to it. If you did enjoy today's video or a slight change in content, be sure to hit that like button. Also, be sure to subscribe for daily content. You guys can expect to see more Bloodborne here on my channel. But anyways, guys, once again, want to thank you guys for watching. I will catch you guys later, and I'm out.